Hello, Leander ISD. I'm Bruce Gearing. And I'm Trish Bodie. Bruce, we had an interesting meeting on Tuesday. Tell me kind of what it was you wanted to do and why you reached out to the board to have this conversation. Thank you, Trish. Yes, we've been hearing a lot back from our community about some of the items that are in this bond package as they relate to the long range plan in the district and particularly this word repurposing and what we're going to do with our schools as we go forward. Okay, so repurposing, um, of course, we care about our schools. We do want to save our schools. We've heard that uh, sentiment loud and clear uh, for all those who weren't able to watch. Can you give us a snippet of what you discovered as you were thinking about repurposing? Absolutely, because we've been talking about closing schools, and that's a really difficult thing to do to solve this problem of uneven growth in the district. Rapid growth in the north, but then this decline in student population in the south. And the repurposing came about as closing schools and repurposing an entire facility for a different use. But what we've heard from our community is that neighborhood schools are really important to our community. And we hear that and we agree. And so yeah. we think there's a different way to do that. We think we don't have to close whole schools and repurpose whole facilities. We can just keep neighborhood schools open and then repurpose parts of those facilities to do different things with. Yes, but I've been hearing the question. So how many schools are you closing? So we're not closing any schools. We have made that commitment is what I understand um, from the meeting on Tuesday. We didn't have a vote or anything, um, but the board sentiment was relatively clear to us as administration that we are going to pause on closing any schools and any timelines associated with that for now. Okay. There's some community discussion because we're talking about several different repurposing needs, right? Um, and so there's parts of the district where we talk about our early learning center. What happens to those? What's the next step for our community? So part of our concept of closing schools and repurposing those facilities was to address this gr growth that we have in the northern part of the district. And we still have to solve that problem. Yeah. Um, what we were going to do was pull our three or four year old pre-K students out of those schools that were overcrowded um, and create early learning childhood centers. Um, there are options for us to do that differently. We already have early childhood communities across the district and we could repurpose parts of buildings in the Cedar Park area um, to expand those communities or even to create new communities. There is the possibility that we could use bond funds if these bonds pass to build an entirely brand new early childhood center if that's what the community and we agree on. Um, and there's the possibility even at the extreme of saying if we don't want to do any of that, we would have to add an additional elementary school to our list in the north. What I'm hearing is the community discussion, but our community is saying, okay, when I go to vote on a bond, when I go and look at that on the ballot, isn't that part of my discussion? I think there's some confusion because some people feel like that's the only time they weigh into the discussion. And so they're trying to figure out from what I'm hearing, of when do I get involved? How can I be part of these decisions moving forward? And that's a great point. You know, we have both informal and formal parts of our conversation that happen with the community. And yes, there are decision points that have to happen at some point. Right. We have to make definitive decisions and then stick to those. And the bond is election is one of those decision points where the community will have to say, yes, we authorize this additional debt in the district in order to accomplish these projects, or no, we don't. Um, but there's a lot of informal conversation that goes around, even if those bonds are approved, how exactly we spend those bond funds. We have a legal framework that we have to work within, and those right. are outlined in the bond order, which can be found on our website. Um, but that language is broad enough that it allows for us to have that backwards and forwards community conversation even once the bonds pass in order to determine exactly how are we going to spend those funds. So the challenge I face is that I feel like there's so many parts of the conversation that have to happen before we call a bond and after we call a bond. But um, our community sometimes only gets snapshots into parts of those discussions and they're trying to put the pieces together. But that whole repurpose discussion can look different. It doesn't have to look exactly like we envisioned when we started this. And that's the point of a living document, right? Absolutely. And that's the point of the long range plan not being board approved so right. that we can pivot on that. And actually, you'll see very soon that the language in that long range plan is being adjusted as we speak okay. and will be reposted to the website so that we can see that listening to the community and the impact that that's having on, on the path forward in the district. Um, 
folks want to push us to an either or right. decision all the time. Yeah. But we're a very large, complex organization, and it takes a lot of conversation and iteration, honestly, in order to really come to good decisions. The board has a lot of conversations coming up, and we hope you will continue to stay engaged as we have these conversations. We look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. Thank you, Trish. I really appreciate this conversation and the fact that we're staying engaged with our community. We urge our community to continue to let us hear their voice as we go forward. We have two community forums coming up, one on April 12th at Vandergrift High School and one in Cedar Park on April 17th. So please come out, interact with us, and help us to shape the future of Hashtag One LISD.